Hi everybody, this is Sandra and the word for today, we're in Psalms 92, 10 to 15, it says, I shall be anointed. It says 10, but my horn, horn in Greek means heal, shall thou exalt means to bring up in Greek, like the horn of a unicorn means a wild bull in Greek, <clears throat> excuse me, I shall be anointed means ointment in Greek, with fresh, which means flourishing oil, leaven, Mine eyes, that means sight in Greek. Also shall see, means to behold in Greek. My desire on my enemies, means foe, F-O-E, means as lying in wait. And my ears, which means hearing in Greek, shall hear, that means listen in Greek. My desires of the wicked, means being wicked, being evil. That rises up, that means stood against me, twelve. It says the righteous, which is the just in Greek, shall flourish, means to bloom in Greek, like the palm tree. He shall increase, he shall grow, that means to increase in Greek, like a cedar in Lebanon. And that is a mountain range in Palestine. Uh, 13, it says those that be planted, means transplanted in Greek, in the house, which is dwelling in Greek, of the Lord, which is Jehovah in Greek, shall flourish, means bloom in Greek. In the courts, which means villages in Greek, of our God, which is our Father in Greek. They shall still bring forth fruit, means increase, flourish in Greek. In old age, means gray hair. It says they shall be fat, and that means vigorous in Greek. And flourishing means bl uh, bloom in Greek. Fifteen, to shew, S-H-E-W, means to tell or declare that the Lord, which is Jehovah, is upright, means just and righteous in Greek. He is my rock, means strength, cliff, and refuge. And there is no unrighteousness, that means no unrighteousness, means iniquity, no wickedness, no wrong in him. Uh, this is what God's given me. And, you know, we are in the last day. And um, God said he's going to turn what's going on around. Uh, but as Christians, we still have to do our job. We need to, what's going on around this world we need to pray like we've never prayed before. Churches need to come together and pray together. You know, if we do not win this election, it will be socialism. And God showed me, I think it was last year when I was at work, there was not just the Jews in the prison camps that they're going to be slaughtering. It's going to be the Christian. Um, and it's not just going to be them. If you don't take their mark, which... Um, they will kill you. Um, so we have to fight for this nation because we're not just fighting for our nation. We're fighting. If we, we have to win this war because if we win this war, then all the other nations will have a chance to be able to stand up and fight too. They, if they see what we do, they're going to do the same thing. So we cannot lose. And so we have to vote. Make sure you get out and vote for this election. Um, you know, I know... You know, God give us Trump. He may not be perfect. You may not like him, but it doesn't matter because God said he chosen for such a time as this. Um, the Lord showed me uh, a vision one day of Trump, and it was like the biggest bear head that I ever seen in my life. I mean, it was humongous and like strong and bold and furious. I mean, that's why God chose this man. To fight for us. And so let's just pray for him every day. The Lord give him supernatural strength and courage and boldness. And he needs a discernment to know who his uh, enemies is. He needs miracles. So let's just keep lifting him up every day in prayer. And keep praying and fasting every week. God said, you know, at least fast three days a week. Uh, so uh, remember at what he was putting in my mind that um, Esther is my favorite in the Bible. And um, they were getting ready to slaughter her people, the Jews. And she, whether they killed her or not, she went to her husband, which she was not allowed to do unless they are summons. And they, she should have been killed, but he gave her grace because he loved her. God loves us. God loves us. He loves the world. He loves the United States. God, they dedicated the United States to God when they first got here so this is God's so let's just keep praying reading your word and fasting every week you know try to fast three days a week God says and he's going to turn this around 
but he needs you. He needs your prayers. Um, he's not going to do it with, without us getting on our knees and crying out to him. We have to fight for our nation. Have a good day. Amen.